Hello everyone, Joe Lavery here, Assistant Professional here at Hilfiger Golf Club and today I'm going to be testing the new Ping G410 driver. Just before we start, if this is your first time uh, watching the channel or seeing a video from my channel, do make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, to stay in tune with all the um, content that I'm producing at the moment and then also hit the notification icon as well just to make sure that you're notified when a new video is posted. It's roughly every three days at the moment. Um, so, I was at work today and a box arrived and the new Ping G410 LST turned up and I thought actually that looks really cool, let's do a video on it and test it. As you can see, I haven't hit a single shot with it yet, literally just turned up, I was actually watching a video on this last night. Um, and it actually is a really cool looking driver, you'll have seen all the little shots um, going over the top of the driver and that sort of thing, where if you haven't yet they'll be inserted probably now. <laughs> So what this driver has got and it's still got the turbulators at the top, so we're quite used to seeing those, so they help with the, the aerodynamics of the golf club. Um, obviously the idea being that the, the easier this as a mass can travel through the air, the faster it will be able to travel, the more efficiently it will be able to travel. Uh, still got the adjustment, so I believe it's one and a half degrees up, one and a half degrees down. You can also make the golf club sit flatter, which is pretty cool, so if you don't want to see the left hand side of the golf course, that could help you. Um, Obviously low spinning version now, so we're going to presume that the weight is going to be much more further forwards in the head than what it is back. Still say, so still the adjustment to draw and fade as well at the back. And then the forged face as well to try and help maintain high levels of ball speed all the way across the face. So should help for my off-centred hits. Um, and it's also got this effect here. I think it's called Dragonfly. You'll have to excuse me, I haven't had my product training fully on this. Um, but basically what you have here is this sort of bit, I believe it stabilises the top of the head, allows them to make it nice and light, but also is going to help for alignment. So in this one here, for those of you that love shafts, so have got a 10-side orange in a stiff. Um, this isn't what's fitted for me, it's just a case of what came in. But this is an awesome shaft. I know I've got a 10-side white in my driver, absolutely love it. So I shouldn't have an issue hitting this today, there's no excuses. Let's see how it performs. For you guys, so you can sort of see what it looks like there at address. Just kind of give you a bit more of an idea. You can see the turbulators on top. And then that's the look down. And if you're looking from the head, it's like so. You can see it just sits just that little bit more open than what the standard driver would. Um, let's say this is definitely obviously then going to be designed a little bit more for that better player. So it doesn't want to see the left hand side of the golf course. So hitting a few shots with this driver so far, as you can see I'm sort of midway through collecting some data. Um, I love the way it sounds, it's one of the things you're going to hear obviously on the clips. Um, I think it sounds awesome, um, which is great because I know a lot of modern drivers these days, not that they sound dull and dead, but some of them don't sound great or they're too loud, um, and that can kind of be a little bit off-putting at times, um, but certainly this one, it sounds nice, I like the way it looks as well. Um, I personally quite like that effect leading up to the centre of the face, I think that looks really good there behind the ball at, at address. Um, these sort of turbulated things aren't off-putting, I guess you just sort of get used to them now after a while. Um, but it certainly it sits a little bit more open I would say than the standard drive, which for me really suits my eye, which I like. Um, but yeah, I like the feel. I mean at the minute I'm liking the figures as well, I like the numbers, I, I found the spin rates have been pretty good, we'll have to have a look in a minute when we get all the, all the data together. Just got to collect one more shot or so, um, and then we'll have a look and see, uh, see what the data says. Two seven. Yeah, spinning about two seven. Feels pretty good. So then, if we were having a look at the data, so um, ignoring my club head speed, um, because I didn't have long to warm up for the video, I mean, I hit about three drives beforehand, so you can see it gradually gets a little bit quicker as I'm going through. One of the key things we're looking at, though, is, first of all, the overall distance. Um, I'm pretty happy with those figures. You know, normally about 280, 285 is pretty good. Got one down at 270, but you can see the club head speed was lower. Um, 
and the, the launch was down. So if we start to look at the, um, the ball speed, the ball speed's relatively consistent actually. Um, you know, there's a little bit of fluctuation again, obviously down to club head speed. Um, but certainly the smash factor, that smash factor for me is very good. You know, I've seen nothing below 1.49. That says to me the face is very, very responsive. You know, by no means were a lot of those strikes perfect, but I'm still seeing a really good overall um, sort of efficiency between club head speed and ball speed. So that's great. And to get one up at 1.51, even better. You know, something that's spinning at 2.5. Okay, the launch was down slightly, only 8.9. I've obviously um, done something a little bit strange there to not, not cause the ball to launch as well. Um, that's the only reason why I think the numbers are slightly down. That just shows as well how important launch is. Yeah, that for me, I, I think that's some really good numbers. I'm seeing there a spin rate that's very consistent um, from shot to shot, which is great. I think that's going to really help you give quite a consistent ball flight. Um, and it's sometimes having that, it's having that consistent ball flight is, is what's going to then give you some confidence with the club. And I think when we actually start to look then at the actual sort of flight um, screen, which shows the sort of shot plot as such, um, I'm starting to see flights that, I mean, okay, we're seeing some go left and right. Unfortunately, that's my golf at the moment. Um, but we're seeing sort of consistency roughly in height. And actually, you know, if I was out on the golf course, I kind of take that spread. I mean, it's not awful um, for somebody who, who hits the ball or, or plays as often as I do. I would, I would very much take that. I wouldn't see too much of an issue. But the key thing for me is the heights are pretty relatively consistent. And then actually looking through the grouping, we can see the grouping's not too bad. Um, and they're all pitching around that similar distance, which again is what I'm after. So actually in terms of the driver, I'm very impressed with it. I think it's a, it's a, a good bit of kit. Certainly something um, I would consider using. You know, there, there'd be no reasons as to why not. I think it sits really well as well. I like the option of being able to make the driver a little bit flatter if you wanted to. Um, personally, I, you know, I like to have the face a little bit more open. It just sort of suits my eye to do that. It makes it feel as if I can't hit the ball left as that is my bad shot. Um, but yeah, certainly, I, I certainly think it's a great driver. Great addition, I think, to Ping's sort of already well-established family. Obviously, this one is slightly delayed um, with obviously having the plus and the standard one before this um, and the SFT. However, it makes sense. So certainly, if you're somebody at the minute that's playing a G400 in an LST, I'd highly recommend having a go with this, trying it. Um, you've got nothing to lose by trying it and just seeing how it performs. So um, thanks so much for watching. As I say, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, make sure you check out our shop website as well. It's going to be the link in the description below. But thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you all soon.